Working on the Subi East project was very appealing to me as it represents values that I am passionate about, cultural celebration and preservation. I wanted to bring local Noongar worldviews to the public space, worldviews born out of generational observations of seasonal changes. The sculpture I made responded to Makaru, the wettest of the Noongar seasons. The work represents a wairadong, crow, exploring themes of urbanisation, cultural resilience and expression. The translation of my illustrations into a sculpture was done with the mentorship of some fantastic established artists and local fabricators. This was my first cast aluminium sculpture, which was then polished to create the final work. The sculpture is brought together with a plinth and seat, which immerses the viewer in the artwork. Throughout the creation of the artwork, I remain grateful to be a conduit for the cultural narratives passed on to me by the elders. I hope that my artwork creates a strong sense of community and understanding of our collective identities. Through this sculpture, I wanted to draw a parallel between the Wairadang and Noongar language, as well as reference hand signals and the language of dance and art. I aimed for the artwork to spark a discourse around cultural evolution, to draw parallels between celebration and survival, while subverting preconceived notions about the Noongar identity. I do believe that public art done honestly and correctly is a great educational asset to the broader community.